Hello, I'm Belinda Fremo, President of Passionate Project Management, where we're passionate about your success. Today's topic is qualitative risk analysis versus quantitative risk analysis. Similar terms, both used in risk management, risk planning, but yet very different processes. So I want to give you some information to help you decipher between the two. So we'll start with qualitative risk analysis. It's good to start there because in practice, that's what we would always do first. All risks that we identify in our project will go through a qualitative analysis. And what we're looking at are the qualities of the risk. Okay? And we're going to evaluate them using a set of uh, standards or a set of scale that we've defined within our risk management plan. We want to look at probability and we want to look at impact. And when we multiply those two scores together, it's going to give us a risk score, allowing us to prioritize our risks. And that's the key reason we do a qualitative assessment. We want to do that qualitative risk analysis in order to prioritize our risk by risk score. Now, the definitions of probability and impact are going to vary based on your organization, based on your PMO standards. Um, typically, we'll see a probability scale that will be potentially like a zero to one. So if it's a 0 0.2, there would be a 20% chance of occurring. Um, impact scale, again, varies. It could be one to five, one to 10. Um, one thing I always encourage my, my clients to do is make sure you have a consistent scale that you're using across all the projects within the portfolio. That way, if you're moving from project to project and you say, oh, this risk is a three, we all know what that means, okay? So whatever that scale is, I like to a one to five scale personally. Zero to one for probability, one to five. I multiply that together and I get my risk score. Again, picture it being in a spreadsheet, I can just sort by that risk score and establish my priorities. Having said that, I do not favor a low, medium, high scale for impact or for probability because again, I can't get to a true number, right? So subjective, quick and easy to do, all risks get evaluated through qualitative analysis. Now let's compare that to a quantitative analysis. In a quantitative risk analysis, we are quantifying, that's it being quantitative, quantifying the impact of the risk in terms of dollars and time. So what's the probability of the risk event occurring? What is that impact in terms of dollar, in terms of schedule? We're gonna use a lot of different tools in quantitative, such as Monte Carlo simulation, decision tree analysis, expected monetary value analysis, so these things can take more time. We need more data and we need good data, good quality historical data, information on cost and schedule impacts. Um, and a lot of times, again, we require soft, special software. So not all risks will go through a quantitative analysis, potentially only a subset. It does give us another level of prioritization on our risks and it does help us better justify contingency reserve that we may need if we're able to put that dollar value to it. So, Again, just to wrap up, all risks go through qualitative, subjective, probability impact scale, one to five, one to 10. Quantitative, maybe a subset, helps us get that probabilistic determination of achieving our cost and schedule objectives for our project. Again, dollars and time. Again, hope you found this uh, video helpful to you and you learned a little bit of something between qualitative and quantitative risk analysis. Again, my name is Belinda Fremo. I'd love to have you comment on this video and make sure to visit our site, www.passionatepm.com and check out all the free resources we have there. Have a great day.